Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be messing around a little bit with the Herobrine mod on Minecraft Pocket Edition. It was made by McLover152 on the MCPE Universe website. Be sure to check it out if you do want to download it yourself. Um, this is an excellent mod, it's really great, it adds in mobs, armor, items, and everything into your PE world. So it's pretty crazy, and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys smack that like button if you really like this mod, and you want to see some more. But other than that, I will see you guys in the video. Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today for you, I'm here with more Pocket Edition. Today in Pocket Edition, we're going to be reviewing a mod called the Herobrine mod, and it's really cool. It basically adds Herobrine, Notch, uh, even Chuck Norris into your game, and you can freaking kill them. And it's fun, and they roam your world and it's great. So let's go ahead and just begin. There's also a bunch of items and armor and tools and stuff. So um, those are actually the things we're covering first is the tools and armor. So let's go ahead and jump into this chest right here. Um, in this chest you'll see five tools and four armor. We got the holy sword, we got holy shovel, pickaxe, hoe, and axe and basically these are just reskinned diamond tools so you can basically get them by making the diamond tools um, but otherwise yeah those are those guys and they're just as good as diamond tools but they're just called holy and their texture has changed so um, those don't really do too much the holy sword is cool it works on hero brian only um, here it is. Let me just pull it out here. There it is. Okay, so, um, basically it works on Herobrine where you, when you fight him and it does 10 hearts of damage. Herobrine has 50 health and he actually has 100 strength, but, uh, we'll get to that. Anyways, you fight him with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for now. Um, we're also gonna grab this armor here, and the armor is really cool. We can put it on in our inventory and we look really great. It's called Holy Armor, and basically it's diamond armor. Same thing, no difference uh, compared, at least with stats, actually. So, um, otherwise it's just pretty holy, and you can walk around and be safe with it. So as you can see, my diamond, or my armor bar at the top is full, so I'm pretty safe with the Holy Armor on. And yes, moving on, we're gonna go check out some of these items in the mod. Uh, we got a Holy Gym, that's a Holy Gym. We got a bottle of poison, a bottle of healing, a uh, holy grail, which actually replaces a water bucket, by the way. Um, and you need a water bucket to craft it in the first place, which is why it's kind of, kind of funny. It's it's weird, but anyways, um, yeah, that that's a holy grail. I'll show you how to how to get that soon. Okay, so um, but yes, the first item we're gonna cover is this um, holy gem, and basically, holy gems are obtained apparently through holy ores which I couldn't find anywhere in the item list and there was no ID for it so I couldn't find the holy ores but this is a holy gem and you can get it by smelting diamonds in a furnace um, so it's actually really cool um, I don't know why you get end up getting a holy gem but you do so <laughs> it's great and basically holy gems are used to craft anything holy for the rest of the mod pretty much so yeah, next up is this bottle of poison. Whenever you hit mobs with it, they explode. Um, <laughs> the mod makers, uh, he didn't know why he wanted to add this item, but he did. And um, we're gonna go find a mob real quick, I guess. If not, we're gonna have to spawn one in because I'm not walking way over there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and spawn one in. Good thing we got too many items. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get spawn eggs. And we're going to get a bunch of cows. We're going to explode a bunch of cows. So let's go ahead and spawn them over here away from the mod showcase area. What's up, cows? How you doing? Sorry, I'm going to use you to... Um, oh, and I'm, I guess I'm going to have to take down a baby, too. Real sorry about that, uh, cows. I'm going to have to use you to explode. Um, but anyways, and your babies. So hold on a second. And there is a list of IDs that come with this mod so that way you don't get too confused. But anyways, the ID for the potions, I think is 510. And then I can select full stack and then click add. There we go. Nice, okay. Um, 
and then I can exit out of it, and I got the potions. So we're gonna smack him. Eh. Oh wow. So oh yeah, be very careful whenever you use it. Uh, it actually explodes a certain area or like a, a pretty big area um, whenever you use it. So basically, it's like igniting a TNT. But I don't think it hurts you. So bam. Sorry, mom. I'm gonna have to take down your baby as well. Bam. Anyways, that's a cool item. <laughs> like why not have that item? And yeah, that's great. Okay, so moving on. What was the next item we had to show you guys? We had to show you a potion of healing, right? All right, so I think that is ID number 500. And when we add it to our inventory, we should we should get it right now. We should have it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So this is a bottle of healing. Uh, it's pretty great. It's crafted, pretty simple, and it just heals you, I'd imagine. I don't... I don't need to be healed right now, so I'm going to jump off this mountain. Ready, everybody? Jump! Alright, um, I healed instantly. Okay, so I'm not going to use this bottle, um, but it heals you. Just letting you know. Okay, so I got a bunch of items now. Uh, we got this Holy Grail here. It is the um, item in the mod that will heal you. Completely, too. Um, pretty much whenever you're low on health or whatever, say you lost all your hearts. Uh, you go down, whatever, and then you drink it, you will regenerate all your hearts back. So, pretty useful, and it's uh, not that bad to craft. So, yeah, that's the Holy Grail. It's awesome. Um, next up is the Holy Staff. The Holy Staff is crazy. Um, it ha basically has the ability to turn any block you want into a diamond block uh, just by clicking it, just by tapping. You can turn any block you want into a diamond block. So... <laughs> Um, quite the ability. I don't know if it has durability on it, but we can check right now. So the ID for it is 502, and then if we add it and close out of here, we'll have it in survival. All right, let's see if it has du durability. Bam, bam. It doesn't have durability. Um, Freaking, that probably needs to be added because that's like the best block I've ever seen. <laughs> or item I've ever seen um, but yeah moving on next up is this um, item right here it's called a wiki and you can um, you can pretty much just use this to guide you through the mod by using the book this little thing will open it'll show like a message or whatever but then it's almost like a readme will pop up and it tells you pretty much every single thing you need to know about this mod and um, all the IDs and everything. So if you want a kind of in-game guide, then that's it right there, which is pretty nice, actually. But be careful when you click stuff with it because obviously it will be used. So that's it for the wiki. But uh, moving on, we're going to go ahead and check out. Let's see what's this last item we need to check out right now. Um, well, we got the portal activator and we got the portal, which we're going to have to show you anyways. But I'm going to show you the mobs before that. Okay, so we're going to go over to this third chest here, and we're going to check out some of the mobs that you can spawn into the mod. And they're actually all really cool, and this is the first time for me seeing something like this in Pocket Edition. Um, okay, shut up here, Brian. I know you're around here somewhere. I know I'm holding you, but um, basically, <laughs> I summoned Hero Brian on accident. I didn't mean to, um, but I was on a different difficulty, so he didn't spawn, and it's weird. He's, like, permanently in my world. So, um, but we'll, we'll spawn him in a second. Anyway, so here's Hero Brian. I have his, it's like his spawn egg. And basically I can put him down just by pressing it. And he's gonna, he's gonna burn because it is daytime and ouch. I'm gonna burn too. Holy crap. So there's Hero Brian. He's, um, he'll die eventually, I think. I think he just eventually burns to death. <laughs> he said E. <laughs> he said E. That's so funny. Okay, no, Hero Brian, you should go away now. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in the the holy sword so I can take you out because I don't like hero brines in my minecraft world next up is pig brine which is which is basically hero brine and Jeffrey mixed together now um I don't know how much of a threat he is I'd, I'd imagine he's very strong so just be very careful if you ever run into him um, you can also craft him oh whoa he must be evil do you guys see that he said I hope you die and then he spawned me like 20 blocks above, like, ground level. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kill him because I don't want him dropping me in the sky anymore. Get out of here, pig brine. 
you're no longer worthy on this planet the moment you decided to stop being Jeffrey. Okay, what's up, Jeffrey? How you doing? Okay, so I just killed Pig Brine, and that chat popped up. It says, uh, you'll, you'll never be free. So, um, even though I killed him, I guess I'm never gonna be free. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in this next, um, mob. It's called the Fallen Angel. And when you spawn him in, um, he, uh... <laughs> It basically says the fallen angel has spawned, and he he looks kind of funny. He just stands there, and um, I think I think he's just he's a bad guy. He actually will kill you if you're in game mode zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill him here. He's kind of falling off the mountain, being uh he sucks. Um, I'm gonna kill him if I don't know how long it'll take with an iron sword. I don't know if he has like a million health or something. Maybe he's like the strongest guy. I don't know. God, his hitbox is so small. Don't ever battle this guy because his hitbox was the smallest. Um, anyways, moving back uh, over here. Uh, Hero Brian has updated us. He says M E S U Y O I U Nak, something like that. I don't speak Hero Brian. I'm sorry, but we're gonna go ahead and spawn in the next mob, which is just a regular angel. And these are these are good guys. Oh, I found Hero Brian. What's he doing over there? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? He sucks. Okay, um, I'm gonna spawn in this angel. So this is an angel. It's a, it's a good, it's a good mob. Um, it's just a reskinned, I think, player or something. But it doesn't even have villager API or anything. So I think it's just a, a just a mob that kind of walks around. So, um, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, uh, moving on. So the next two mobs are Chuck Norris. That's right, Chuck Norris and Notch. So, um, basically, Notch is in another dimension. He's in the... Wow, that was scary. That was, like, one of the worst things that could happen to anybody in Minecraft. Just turning around and then freaking Herobrine is right there. That Basically, Notch is in this mod as, as well, for whatever reason. But he is in the uh, other dimension that comes with this mod, which we are going to be going to very soon. And we'll meet Notch. But for now, we're going to have to settle with Chuck Norris. I know, it sucks, right? But it's okay. Chuck Norris rocks, and I just spawned in two on accident, and he's a good guy. So I don't think he attacks you in game mode zero. Um, and basically, if you kill him, he will not drop anything, but he's still Chuck Norris, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, thanks for adding Chuck Norris into this mod. <laughs> um, but anyways... Yeah, I think that's it for all the mobs. We can go ahead and um, make the portal over to the other dimension if you guys want. That sounds fun. Um, to do that, you're only going to need two items. And basically, it's just the holy portal activator. And then you're going to need your portal. And so, place your portal down anywhere you want. You could do it right here. And basically, it kind of spawns a platform. Oh god, I spawned two portals. That was an accident. Anyways... It spawns a platform with a portal, and to go inside, uh, you basically right-click it with a holy portal activator. Um, and then it says you can only enter the dimension while in survival, so make sure you're in creative. Um, sorry about that. And yeah, see, now I don't have the, the staff, but that's okay, because I do know the ID. Um, it is 503, I think. So 503, when we enter that in, click Add, X out. We got the holy portal activator and we're ready. So we press it and it teleports us pretty much below is how it works. It teleports you below into the glowstone. It's not another dimension. He says he's working on it right now and he'll improve it. But um, Notch is supposed to be in here. It looks like he fell through the ground, but he's definitely down there. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and switch into creative and then spawn him in because I know you guys want to see Notch. So we got Notch. Bam. There he is. What's up, Notch? He's looking at other Notch. They're trying to communicate through the ground. Um, but no, this is Notch. He's great. Um, you can kill him. Nothing will happen. But he's just hanging out here. So, And he won't hurt you either. But there's usually a chest in this dimension. And you can only activate it in survival. So make sure you're in survival. And when you get into it, you'll see a pickaxe, some apples. You can get um, a hoe, some diamonds, carrots. Those were all in there last time I was in here, so I'd assume it was the same every time. But yeah, to get out, just make sure you have your holy portal activator on you, and then press it on the chest in the dimension, and then it will teleport you back to the overworld. 
So that's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that dimension. It's cool just to have, like, it's a thought. Like, uh, the other dimensions haven't been created yet, but it was very cool. So I liked it. Um, but yeah, there's one more thing we want to do, and it is to spawn these guys naturally um, using, I guess, just gold blocks and, like, a bunch of other stuff. To spawn Hero Brian, who's Birdie? Birdie? Who, who the hell's Birdie? Well, anyways, no, uh, to <laughs> spawn Hero Brian, you must do it at night and you spawn it on two gold blocks and two nether racks, and then you light it with a flint and steel, and basically he just spawns in. Uh, nothing really happens. It just says, do you know what you have did? That's what it says. And then Hero Brian kind of spawns in and says all that weird stuff just like that. And it's it's not too it's not too intense, but I mean I'm sure it is if you're in survival mode because he's pretty strong. But anyways, that's Hero Brian. And then this one here is the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel will spawn when you light it with flint and steel on top of a gold block and a stone brick. We also got a gold block and a glowstone on top, and that will give you an angel when you light the top of it. And I actually think I can just demonstrate that now because um, I don't think it has to be nighttime. But uh, let me just kind of spam. An angel has been summoned. There she is. And then I, I guess the blocks still stay there, so you can keep doing it. All right, and there is a fallen angel naturally spawned in, and you, you know how they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it guys. And as you can see, if I try to do, um, hero Brian, it'll go, you don't know what you did and he's not here. I know it's not nighttime, but for some reason that did work. I don't know why. It's probably because I've activated it before, but, um, he's probably going to spawn in somewhere nearby and you know how he fights. So that's it. You guys, I hope you did enjoy the hero Brian mod. If you want to see some more awesome mod showcases like this, on Pocket Edition. Make sure to let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys did enjoy this style kind of mod showcase. I know it was different, but I did manage to get all the chests and everything onto this video, which is really cool, actually. It was hard to do that. I had to switch into survival and creative um, in order for it to work using too many items. And it was just really great. And it was all possible with mods, thanks to the community. So thank you guys for being great people. And check out uh, the mod maker as well on his um, channel page on MCPE Universe because this is, a, this is a really good mod. Like, I haven't seen a mod like quite like this yet. So, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.